Hello guys, it's Mastria here and I'll be showing you how to make maps using the world editor of Warcraft 3. The reason why I'm making this video and the next 10 videos is because there are not no useful tutorials, video tutorials. Uh, I've never found a useful one. I mean, there are lots of tutorials, but they all lack something. So I'll be making a series of uh, tutorials uh, on how to make map, where I will cover the terraining, the triggering, the unit uh, editing, the abilities editing, uh, even the campaigns in an artificial intelligence, just about everything, and I'm going to show you some of the coolest systems, like save load systems, damage uh, detection, detection and stuff like that, that you can use when you're making uh, RPGs, which are, in my opinion, the best maps. Okay, first of all, uh, this video will show you how to use some basic commands, you know. First is disabling this annoying grid that is useful for almost nothing. To do that, go to view, uh, find the grid, and then click none. And it will disappear. Okay, the next thing you want is to learn some basic commands. Uh, to move map, uh, hold right mouse button, and then just move the mouse to the sides. You can also do it using the arrow keys or you can just click the minimap. Then you can change angle of map by holding control, right click and then moving the mouse. As you can see, if you want to reset angle and zoom, uh, hold control, shift and press C and you're back. Okay, when you zoom in long enough using the middle mouse button, a black fog will appear. To disable this fog, just hold control and scroll down with uh, the middle mouse button. If you scroll up, it's gonna cover the entire screen. Okay, this is used to prevent lag when you change the angles. As you can see, if I scroll in, there's gonna be less lag. However, it's pretty much useless, it's just annoying. Let's reset using the control shift and C. And let me show you some uh, dotted and unit tricks. To enable Dodat and Unit Palette, just click uh, Layer and then click, for example, Terrain or Dodat, Unit, whatever. Uh, click on the Dodat you want and place it somewhere. Now, you notice, you can place it only if it's not red. If it's red, you cannot. If it's some other color, you can. Uh, that's because every uh, Dodat has pathing map, so I can place over it. Unless you hold Shift key. If you hold Shift key, World Aether will ignore everything and you can place as many donuts as you want, wherever you want. Okay, uh, each donut has a bunch of things uh, to select uh, that you can edit, but first you have to select it. To select it, either click this button here to enable selection brush or press space. Now you can select anything you want, double click on it. Uh, on everything you can change variation. For example, we're going to change this variation. You can use either, either double click and then change the scale here or using plus and minus. And um, you can change the facing point of uh, this unit by holding control and left clicking and somewhere. However, these trees cannot change, so I'm going to show you on uh, some of the props. For example, archery target. Le left click, then hold control and move mouse button to whatever you want. If you want to move these destructibles or dodads by a little, just press the numpad, uh, you know, arrows, numbers. And uh, that's about it. If you want to lift something in the air without the use of object editor or dodad editor, uh, you have to, what was the button, hold control and then press hold page up. When you lift it to whatever height you want. For example, you can see it like this now. This is useful for, I don't know, if you want to put something above something else. If you want to put this on a fence, for example, you just hold control and page down till it comes to the fence, and you see archery range is now on the fence. And that's one of the cool tricks that you can use in map making. And those are basically all the commands uh, that you need to start map making. Now, in next videos, you could, I'm gonna teach you how to make first. I'm gonna teach you how to make terrains, uh, then dodads and stuff like that. Okay, see you in the next video. Check the description for the uh, UMS Aether or New Gen Aether, whatever you call it, so you can do all these neat stuff. And see you in the next video. Ciao.